Hey all, Binks here, and this deck is hella good. The deck features Hella, a 6 energy, 6 power card, with on reveal, play all cards you have discarded from your hand to random locations. So a big, awesome finisher card for a discard deck, you want to discard a bunch of really strong cards, and then replay them all at the very end. Uh, the way that this particular deck works is with Invisible Woman, uh, so we want to get Invisible Woman set up, she's a 2 energy, 2 power card with ongoing cards you play here are not revealed until the game ends. So what we can do is we can set down Invisible Woman, play two discard cards in the lane during the game, and then play Hella in that lane at the very end. And what it'll do is at the end of the game, you'll discard out your hand, and then Hella will replay them. It's a good way to stop yourself from uh, discarding Hella during the game, which can be a big way to brick uh, this deck. Uh, the rest of the deck is built with a discard package, so we have Blade, Lady Sif, Swordmaster, and Hellcow. I think Lady Sif and Hellcow are both really important, they're trying to target those bigger cards. Hellcow gets two cards, which is really, really nice, especially in that Invisible Woman lane. Uh, the other cards can be replaced if you want, but I really like these two. Uh, and then we have Ghost Rider, which is a 4 energy, 3 power, on reveal, bring back one of your discarded cards to this location. Uh, so it works similar to Hella, but it's only going to grab one card, so it's kind of our secondary option, a, a different out that we can have, and just another way to bring those cards back once we discard them out of our hand. Uh, the big package that we have here is going to just be the biggest cards we can. So we have the Infinite, uh, Giganto, and Magneto, just really, really strong six power cards. Death is really great because if we don't have Invisible Woman down and we want to play Lady Sif, maybe we already have Hella in hand and gets a little scary, Death will jump out ahead uh, and be able to get the pull from Lady Sif as opposed to Hella. Also really good as a counter to Death Wave decks. Uh, there was uh, two or three times during the stream where Death Wave came in really, really nice uh, to, to block when our opponent has Wave and they already destroyed some things using that Death. And then Captain Marvel, I think you do want at least one 5 drop so that if you are running out of things to do on turn 5, you can play down a card. Captain Marvel is really good because she gives us a little bit of flexibility. Uh, overall, this deck went really well. It's super, super fun. I don't know if it's perfect to climb. I think you can climb with it uh, if you have the skills and you can pilot it properly, but it's definitely a bit more on the fun side. I had a ton of fun with it. It's kind of like spinning a roulette wheel. Sometimes you never know what's going to happen and you can get some crazy highlights. As always, if you're enjoying this content, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. Subscribe if you aren't. You might not even know you're not subscribed. Just go ahead and check. Maybe click it. Uh, I post daily Marvel Snap content here. Catch you live at twitch.tv slash binks underscore place. Enjoy. Okay, we have our discard cards. We have Hala. Open for another discard card now. No discard card now is a little bit sus. This is a woman low key best variant. Yeah, I really like this one. We can see through her hand. You ever just play Ghost Rider for stats here? I think we do. How many cards they had in their hand before that, but it shouldn't have done too much. It just feels so weak when you don't draw Hellcow is the problem. Is this gonna be enough? I don't know if it's gonna be enough. I mean we're clearly winning Nidvalier, and then we probably win one of the other two lanes if they both drop. Because they're gonna get uh first death gets discarded and then a random card gets discarded. So as long as they both land on the same spot, it's pretty often. They could also just have Cosmo. Which is kind of the problem with running like this Invisible Woman uh, version. What's the point of saving Ghost Rider? I knew I was playing Hella on 6. If it got to turn 5, I was playing Captain Marvel on 5 almost all the time. Captain Marvel and Shuri's Lab is a pretty good play. So we need both of them to go... Right, man, this is really unlikely that we're gonna win. It's tough. Need both to go right to win. Well, sometimes just get lucky, chat. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you just get lucky. I think Shuri's lab is just in general really bad for this deck. Because without the Shuri's lab, we are winning. There's only have 17 left without Shuri's lab. So without Shuri's lab, this is a lot different game where we just need a Giganto to go left. Um, it's it's a much different game there. 
where it's not like so so hard plus if we had seen Kamertage earlier there there was definitely some some ways that we could have won that maybe we should have been invisible womaning in shuri's lab but i feel like nidvalier is a good spot to do it because it saves you from shang chi which i'm sure tons of people are running tillion uh this means i have to start yoloing cards i think i think i can yellow blade here um dodge the cosmo which is nice of course always discard hello pog when it snaps i probably leave what's the point of discarding more cards not really do i just play ghost rider for plus plus nine and then try and win out the rest of the uh, different ways i think we just do this just get hella ahead on atelian blade always clips your hella yeah it'll, it'll get you man yeah i love this helicopter variant it's fuego oh, we can actually help out right right actually captain marvel and shuri's lab is kind of cracked I think this Ghost Rider, just for the 9 power, is kind of a heads up play. Like, I could have just ripped the Hellcow there. I could have even ripped Hellcow in Shuri's lab, I suppose. But I think that this is kind of the best value we're, we're going to be able to get from it. Yeah, this is really annoying. They do have to beat this, though. Play Giant card right. They have Cosmo here, so I don't have to worry about... Um, Nidvalier, two games in Shuri's lab, which is actually like one of the worst uh, spots for Hella. I don't think Black Hat is good in this deck. Contrary to popular belief. Could have played Magento over on the left side. But we don't really want to pull their giant cards off of Shuri's lab. Nice, we get the double size. This is really big. It's really big for us that they were playing first there with Leader. They're basically just trying to make it so that we can't leave with leader, which is kind of understandable. So we'll play the Hellcow left and we'll play the Lady Sif. Let's play the Hellcow right. This gives this plus 12. That means they have to play at least five power, right? And then we'll play four over to the left. Uh, they also have to like try and win middle if they want. So I think that this is a pretty solid play. And this is this is a game where Hella got discarded on turn uh turn two, right? So you have to be pretty happy about this. With Shuri's Lab, which is really bad for us. With Atillion, which is really bad for us. So being able to work out this game is, is pretty important if we can make it happen. We might not. They, they might have clipped us clipped us uh, in one of these directions. Double Dinosaur. Oh, it's not going to be enough right then. For sure. Plus six. Not enough, baby. Let's go. So you got to love seeing games like that, right? Like a game where everything goes wrong and you can still work it out. That's, that's kind of the sign of a good deck. Obviously, Super Flow helps us a lot leader players forehead yeah you have to understand the leader shuri's lab interaction it's very important it's actually a really important interaction now that shuri's lab is in the game for you i feel like tilting is something that you just have to work through right it's it's a skill like anything else it's a skill being able to like okay i feel like the biggest thing that i have with like being essentially like untiltable like i i feel like i'm one of the least tiltable people ever there's been maybe like since i started playing this game on stream like two or three times i've been like truly tilted I think that you have to find love in losing. Like you have to be okay and enjoy losing in this game. And it can be hard because there's no unranked mode. Like every every game you play, you're risking your cubes for the season, uh, which is which is tough, man. It's tough. But uh, what's like really most important, Kyle? Thank you so much for becoming a member. Becoming a Binx fan, you now have access to Binx Brain and Binx Pog. Hope you use them in chat. I have some more 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 ones that I can start adding. But uh I just haven't yet, you know. Made to rename the deck. No, this deck is still hella good. Yeah, you have you have to like be okay and like find some like happiness in like losing games. Which which is weird and it seems counterintuitive, but uh I think it's good for you. Hopefully we don't try Hella next turn and then we just slam Hellcow on Asgard. 
We can slam Hella onto Asgard. We're gonna feel really good. Or we can just slam this Hell Cow. Ugh. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. We just hope we don't draw Hella here. Dude, we might actually just Ghost Rider to get it. Let's try it. Dude, Ghost Rider, we pretty much guarantee our Asgard win. So we, we we get our um we we have our infinite kind of kind of storm down here we're always winning asgard plus it means that our opponent's probably going to invest right as well all they can invest is they got our hella but that's fine it makes the ghost rider much better opponent might even get our death uh active and if they try and do death wave stuff we just have have a death on the deck this is another reason why death is also kind of pog in this deck because it's just a death wave counter at the end of the day just slam down captain marvel then yeah if they try and do uh if they try and do death wave stuff we just slam down like uh magento maybe we we'll go hell cow left What's my favorite variant style? Uh, Chibi by a pretty large, large, uh, quantity. This is another reason why death is just so good in the stack, and they're probably not expecting this either. We can get beat if they have, like, full combo or in a bit of trouble, but I think we still beat full combo because we're winning so f hard right so if they play full combo like middle i guess they could do like arrow left which is a little bit scary or they could like arrow right maybe just depends thoughts on the venomized variants i think they're really cool i really like the um quinjet and i really like the uh, Nova uh, variant yeah the, the wave is really nice I guess death leader yeah some people are starting to run leader now but if they play they have to play everything middle it's play leader and another card middle because our Captain Marvel will beat out the leader if they just play leader middle they can't overdo it oh and the wave actually pulling the wave over actually helps a lot. Nice. Get wrecked, Death Wave. Get absolutely destroyed. Victory. Another reason people were talking about pulling Death out of the deck. There's another reason Death is just really good. Uh, let's get this. Let's get this Misty Knight out of hand. Uh, actually, it's, it's a fine discard fodder. No, we'll just keep it as discard fodder. I do, uh, chat I don't know what to do I don't I don't know how to I don't know what to do man I don't know what to do chat I do, I can't win if I if this keeps happening I had I had six cards in my hand I just changed to being a Cerebro deck. Ghost Rider doesn't even really help like too terribly much. See, there are more six drops that we can have. What other six power cards do we have in this deck? Hello, we have Captain Marvel. Why do you not have Swarm in this deck? Uh, it's not good in this deck.
But if we can not ironically get um get Captain Marvel, we're winning this game. If we get Captain Marvel off the rip, we're winning for sure. That's kind of nuts, man. Cause I don't think they can beat 28 middle. I guess they could also have some crazy stuff, right, too. Come on, Captain Marvel, please, one time. <gasps> Let's go, dude. This totally wins. Uh, losing the Shang-Chi, which they probably have. Shang-Chi doesn't exist, chat. Oh, it's Coco 4. I didn't even realize it was Coco 4. Please don't be Shang-Chi. You piece! God damn it, dude. Thanks for the season pass, XP. Thanks for the season pass, XP. I, I don't think that there's anything wrong with disliking leader. I think that it's a totally valid opinion to have. And I think that leader is a very um, polarizing card, right? There's definitely reasons to be like, I, like leader infuriates me, infuriates me to play leader. I want leader to be nerfed. That, that's a totally fair opinion. If you think it's in over 70% of decks, then you're out of your mind. You can you can look um yeah Andrew Nate we've we've been trying to work together for a while. He, he had little Cozito which which is making things pretty tough, right? But uh let's let's Magneto left and kind of kind of gunk him up quite a bit. And then we can actually blade Hello, which is nice. Do we even need to? I am Iron Man. You can force a brood left. But this is Surfer. We just probably need like one more card to end up landing left. Yeah, let's make sure this blade gets out of here. Because if we just Hello, we'll discard two cards. Now this blade is actually perfect here. Uh, we'll land this blade. We want blade to land. We'll land it right because we, we have problems that will come with Ghost Rider comes down in a weird way. Wong failed the vine check. Wow, very interesting. Silver Surfer? Okay, we can win left pretty easily here. Uh, right is gonna be hard, but left we win quite often. We just have to kind of like avoid a lot of things falling right. Either death, I think we actually need Giganto and something. So if like Ghost Rider goes left, we're fine. Oh no, it needs to be, no, we lose. Sheesh. No, we're fine. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, that was close. I, I forgot how it even out. Okay, I think we're always winning there then. Yeah, we're always winning there then. GG's. I think the the, the Magento pulling the Brood was pretty important. I, mean, I think we're just I think we're just puking out cards here. Stream looks excellent. Thank you so much, Nerd Tavern. Do you ever had a different background to this game? Uh, I hope that they do. I hope that they add some cool stuff like that. Thanks for the follow, Nerd Tavern. Welcome in. Can only think of Spider-Man meme. I love Spider-Man memes, dude. I love the pointing Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I, I think that what it seems like, because um, if y'all haven't heard the Atlantis Beach Club, variation of like the main theme of the game um i think that what they were trying to do is for like every season to add like a little bit of flavor to like the board states and some like different cool stuff there so if we blade we throw one card in the discord pool and then automatically pull the other one out with grand central it seems really good right doesn't matter really what we hit but if we just play captain marvel and it's a 50 50 to pull us into grand central but maybe that's actually just fine oh that's just fine Right? Yeah, that's just fine, actually. Could get waved here. Demon wave, maybe. And Venom. Uh, Venom doesn't work with Nid Valir how you'd think it would. I don't think. Wait, Venom does work with Nid Valir how you think it would?
Okay, what do we lose to here? We beat Taskmaster. We do this. So we're we just are we just saying we lose to Arnim Zola? Are we just saying we lose to Arnim Zola but we beat Taskmaster? I thought it didn't work like that. I guess I'm I guess I'm wrong. I think we'll say we'll lose to Arnim Zola but beat Taskmaster. I think that's fine. For one cube, I think that's fine. You always have to play and you always have to understand what your outs are, chat. This deck has two different win conditions, right? So this deck has the Taskmaster win condition as the Arnim Zola win condition. Opponent's not really thinking super hard. They might think that the Taskmaster win condition is a little bit better here because they're already so far ahead on Nidvalier. Yeah, it's really weird. They, they have to, I feel like they have to adjust some of the card literature to adjust what played means because I feel like played, played is something that's inconsistent. Like if you play a card here, if all cards have been played, I feel like the word played doesn't have consistent meaning across all the different cards. Only downside of the game is it's so hard to get all the cards. So true. Uh, I wanted an opponent to play Moon Knight. Moon Knight was good for me. Morbius. Okay. I think next time we're probably playing Ghost Rider for stats. Looking forward to Dark Hawk. Yeah, Korg, Widow, Dark, or, uh... Korg, Widow, Rock Slide, Dark Hawk. Seems like a really cool package. Opponent lost their Hella. Opponent lost their Infinite. Snap at them for losing their Hella. We have not lost our Hella. Why don't we Moon Knight in the deck? Uh, for extra power. Um, the, what you'd probably replace is Swordmaster. Swordmaster has three extra power, which helps you win the uh, win the the Hella lane. Plus, a lot of the times, chat, when you're playing cards like Moon Knight in this deck, you're not playing it until the very end because we're running an Invisible Woman package. So because we have the Invisible Woman package, the Moon Knight usually doesn't trigger till the end. So Swordmaster becomes strictly better. In the rare cases that we would play Moon Knight out, could be could be worth it. But I think if you're playing Invisible Woman in your Hella deck, you wouldn't want to run Moon Knight. Yeah, Zabu is making that uh, that deck, that Dark Dark Hawk deck look really gross. What is it? It's Dark Hawk, right? It's a 4-1, not a 4-3. I think we win here with Hella almost all the time. Unreal, dude. Unfucking real. At least they gave us another trigger. So we, we still have outs here. It's just much harder. We need to get. Oh, we needed the Magneto and the Giganto. I guess we're getting rid of all of it. Are we ahead left? If we're ahead left uh, with the thing, we should still have enough. We win? Jesus Christ, dude. Oh my gosh. I think it's by two two points, right? By two points? Jesus, that hell cow pull was so clutch. Cyclops could have some ability. Yeah, but like the, the thing is, right? Oh, it's a world ship game. Is my deck good for world ship? My deck's fine for world ship, right? Snap. My deck's pretty well built for, for world ship. Um, how do I want to win though? Maybe we hold. Now I'm at the point where I'm okay with discarding. I just don't want to hit my infinite. Maybe I should have played a card out earlier. Maybe I should have played Invisible Woman.
definitely want to play that, huh? I just play with Blade and then maybe pass Infinite. Jubilee? Nice. Uh, we always win here now. Probably still maybe lose to Shang-Chi. Ugh. Classic question, chat. Do we lose to Shang-Chi or do we... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Don't have to worry about it. Because the problem is that if, if Ponen had Shang-Chi there, they could just play Shang-Chi and they would win. We played Infinite. GG's. That was, that was a fun one. I love those little games. Yeah, only only Hell can play Giganto, right? I, I feel like I change how I say Giganto and Giganto and Giganto every single time I say it. And I'm sorry if that's tilting for you. It's tilting for me, too. Captain Marvel and Shuri's lab is going to be cracked. Slizzard? I think Sentry will work with Valkyrie. Yeah, Sentry's a cool, cool card to work with Valkyrie. Gijanto? Gijanto is like the psychotic way to play it. Gijanto. Skinny, sicky lizard is so good. Yeah. It's kind of a vibe, right? It's a leech deck? Good. Happy for them to play leech against me. I just hide this ghost rider in here. They won't really expect it. If opponent leeches me, we're, 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 we're feeling real good, chat. We're gonna, we're gonna play a free infinite. Oh, they're doing the uh, the She-Hulk thing. Okay. How do we beat the She-Hulk thing? So they're gonna play She-Hulk and infinite this turn. How do I beat that? This probably beats it. They're probably not expecting this big of a card to drop. Look at those reeds, baby! Wait, wait, spooky, spooky, scary? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Just play leader forehead, sanctuary. Yeah, this deck gets dumpstered by leader, dude. Even if they had played the infinite left, uh, we were still winning that, which is really cool. Even if the, even if they had played the mighty infinite over here, we were, we were still coming away with a W there. G G's. Make sure to subscribe. Watch that one too.